This is using a script to automatically create a sheet from a template. I have two sheets. We're using an on edit script. Let's dig in. So here's the sheet that's going to trigger the creation of the template or the creation of the sheet from the template. And here's the template itself. So looking here real quick, I'm just going to be putting in members of a sales team. What's their last name, first name, when did they start, and then what's their position? Okay, then from the template, it's pretty straightforward. What's their name? How many sales do they have, which is just a count unique on the customer number. Completed number is a count unique where also the completed column needs to be a one. What's their sales goal and completed goal is probably going to be filled out by a manager or they're going to have some review, whatever that is. When they started is going to populate from here, at which point this number will be correct. And then what's their position? So if I'm filling this out for me, what I want the script to do is duplicate the sheet, rename the sheet, change the name to the employee name. Let's say I started 1421. And now we can see that formula does work. And I'm the president, because I can. That's what I want the script to do. We're copying the template and then renaming and changing some values in the template as appropriate. So let's go ahead and jump in, see what we want to do here. Open the script editor from tools. All right. A new script editor always just has function by function. We're not going to worry about that. Function on edit E. Now this is really important. This E value, this E parameter is created by an edit. It contains information such as the range of the edit, the value of the edit, the source sheet of the edit, stuff like that. If that variable does not exist, if that parameter is not passed, this function will usually fail. It doesn't fail automatically, it fails when that E variable is needed. So, if I start my function with an if condition, as I usually do, I'm gonna say e if e.source.getActiveSheet dot get name is not equal to roster return. This is important. The first if condition is checking where the edit occurred and making sure that it happened on the roster sheet, but it can only get that from the E variable. So if that E variable doesn't exist, it will fail. That E variable doesn't exist if you manually run the script. Don't do that. Let's actually show that. So if I try to run this script, it's going to say cannot read property source of undefined because the E value doesn't exist when we run it manually. So do not run this script or most on edit scripts. Do not run them uh, manually. Let them run automatically when the edit occurs. I also want to make sure that the edit occurs in column four. We're going to assume that the parameters say that you have to fill this out from left to right. So when the position gets filled out, all the informa other information should exist. So, or e dot range dot column start not equal to four, then return. So if either we aren't on the roster sheet or we didn't edit column four, which is D, just quit out. Don't worry about the rest of this. If that does, go ahead and continue. First thing I want to do is get my template const sh app.getActive. We're going to use that later. Const template equals sh.get sheet by name template. If I can spell. Okay. So I get the template itself. Now I want to create a new sheet. Let new sheet equals template dot copy to sh. Let me show that again. So what the copy to function requires is just the spreadsheet itself. 
Okay, we're just telling it what spreadsheet, not sheet, what spreadsheet to copy that to. So we're just gonna go like that, and that'll go ahead and make a copy of the template in this spreadsheet, which is the equivalent of duplicating the sheet. Next, I wanna get all the values associated with that row. So let's do let data equals, and I like to use the offset so that I don't have to call multiple sheets. E.range.offset, we're gonna use the same row, right, because I'm looking here. If I've edited all this, then I want the same row of the edit. Column offset is negative four, so four cells to the left, since we edited column four. I want one row and four columns dot get values. Let's go ahead and just test it like that. So let's just output the data and I'm not gonna have it create the new sheet right now. Actually, I'm going to move the new sheet below the data. That would be useful, but still comment it out. All right, so let's go ahead and make this one for me. I'll delete this sheet. We don't need that for testing and it'll be a bother later. Ferris Spencer 1421 president. All right, now when I hit enter here, it should run the script. We'll see that in the executions and it should just log this entire row. So let's go to the executions. Failed. Starting column of the range is too small. And actually, I see what I did wrong here. I told it to go four columns to the left, which if it did here would be one, two, three. Eh. So let's just make that negative three. Let's undo what I did here. And do it again. Ferris, Spencer, one, four. All right, let's go check that again. Executions. Completed. Ferris Spencer, the full date, president. Awesome. So we're, we have the script running. We've gotten the data. We're good. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to break everything out. Normally, if I were doing this just myself, I would skip this next step um, because it just adds lines that aren't necessary, but it really helps to see what's going on. I'm gonna do let f name or first name equals data. And since I have this in array, in a two dimensional array, I can call zero one for the first name. Since that's the second value, zero one, all right. Let l name, last name equals data zero zero. Since that's the first thing, let s date two and let position equals data zero three. So I'm just creating a variable for each of those different pieces that I'm going to need in the new sheet. Normally, if I were doing this myself and doing this for real, I would just I, I would basically call these as I need them rather than creating the variables for them, but this works great. We can see everything that's happening. Now I want to create the new sheet. And I want to go ahead and I can do a set name directly here because it returns the sheet created. And for the name, I want F name plus an open quote mark for the space plus L name. Excellent. And now I need to do some declaring of locations. So since the new sheet is actually a, a variable, it's something we can call on here. I can do new sheet dot get range and do that a few times. First I'm gonna do a one and set the name of the person here. 
dot set value and we're actually going to use the same new sheet dot get range next I have their start date which is on H2 and finally the position which is at J2 position okay now what I was mentioning earlier is normally what I would do is not even use the variables I would just do right here set value data 0 2 right but for these purposes it helps a lot to see what exactly is going on so that's what I have it doing let's go ahead and give that a try Gonna use a different name here. Five one twenty one sales manager. Let's hit enter and see if everything works through. All right, so it was really quick, but it created the copy, named it, and let's check everything's right. So we have the name here, the start date here, and the position here. Perfect and the days employed is working. And if we go typing through GE124, we start getting sales. If we mark that one, we get the completed working as well. So all the formulas are working and it did fill out all the information as we needed. So important things to remember. Most of all, do not manually run the on edit script. It will fail because it needs this E value to get the source of the sheet and to get the range to do the offset and get all the data. We need that. Uh, secondly, you do not have to call these variables or create these variables. You could basically call the call straight from data directly into each of the get range positions. And that should be it for important information here. Just make sure that your ranges do actually match up and that should do it. So here's, Creating a sheet from a template automatically. Let me just show you one more time. It is working. It's not something, you know, otherwise ghosting. Five two twenty one ground floor sales. And we have the full thing working again. Okay, so that'll do it. As always, like, subscribe, and go ahead and connect with me. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at the email below or just in the comment section or go to the official Google Forms. Thanks so much.